Hi everyone, I wanted to put a quick screencast together that walks you through how we find it easiest to set up certificates in LearnDash. If you've worked with certificates in LearnDash, you know it's pretty hard to get uh, text exactly where you want it. You can be working with a lot of HTML code to try to get the layout correct, and it's still usually a bit of a guessing game. And it's a lot of back and forth. So I wanted to briefly walk through how we normally tackle it for client projects. So if you're relatively new to certificates, um, you know at least that we'd set a featured image that's going to be the background image for the certificate. So it's going to be a JPEG file. Resolution would normally be targeted at 3300 by 2550 pixels uh, for landscape orientation on letter-sized paper. Um, that would go here, and then over here is where we would populate what needs to go on the certificate. So this is the text that's overlaid on top of the image to create the PDF file. So you might notice this screen looks a little different than uh, common editing screens for certificates. There's just a few custom elements here, but you can ignore those. There's a couple of uh, custom plugins. And this is just a, a development site that we're using. So Normally, you'd put in a lot of HTML here um, to try to get things where you want. And I know I've seen some examples where people are putting in a lot of break tags and headers and things like that to try to get things approximately where they want them. And it doesn't always work. So I wanted to show you an example. The other problem with certificates is that when you're testing them, there's no way from here to view what it's going to look like when a client or a user some kind of learner goes in, completes a quiz or a course, and earns a certificate, and how the overlay text is going to look on top of the image. So we need a really easy way to test that as we go. So let me show you an example first of a sample certificate. Um, and this one's a little more complex, which is why I wanted to use it. So I'm just going to switch over here to this tab. What we normally do is create very, very, very basic um, uh, quiz. A single question, single correct answer. All we need to do is just get 100% as fast as possible. So you can see this is very much stock, um, no quiz settings changes. This is just a very simple one question quiz so that we can go in immediately click uh, finish and generate the certificate. So let's go ahead, select the radio button, click on finish quiz. And on the results screen, you will of course see the button for print your certificate. So this is really just, you know, all, all options enabled for uh, quizzes, nothing special here. So it doesn't look that great. So we get the button though, which lets us see how we're doing. So if I click that, it's going to open the certificate in a new tab. And let's take a look. Let's walk through this first. So this is a demo certificate. So this is the JPEG file in the background. And then over top of that, we're overlaying these pieces of text. So let's talk through what these are first. So first it's looking at the user. Who is the learner? Who earned the certificate? And we're populating their first name and their last name from the WordPress profile. Second thing, we are populating the name of the quiz. So in this case, this is just an example, but normally for this one we would uh, populate or we would create a name for the quiz that matches the name of the certificate. In this case, it's um, some kind of certification. So the name of the certification would go in the quiz name and we would pull that here. It could also be hard coded because we're going to use a unique certificate for each quiz anyway. Um, the next piece here, uh, this, this is custom. Um, they track CEUs, so we're using custom plugin we created that lets us add CEU values to courses which show up in uh, the Learner Dashboard and can also be used throughout the program, including in Learn Dash reports and certificates like this. So we have CEU records. Um, so that we're showing here. You can see these are centered. This is centered. This is not. And that is often very hard to do with Learn Dash. And then this text here is just showing the current date. So layout's not ideal. Um, but uh, it, it just kind of fix, fits with the, um, the example here. Um, and this can be tweaked. And I want to show you how just we'd set this up to do that. So now, once you can see how it's going to look, what we would do to set this up on the certificate side, um, let's go in and edit that. So I'm going to switch tabs again. So this is what it looks like. And I know I've seen a lot of certificates that people have created where it's just kind of a jumble of code. Um, 
this we try to keep relatively organized. So what's happening here is we're mixing the text that we're adding with um, paragraph tags that control where it appears vertically. So these paragraph tags are really just to control vert vertical spacing of the text. And then the, the headers just go in um, to add the text itself. So we're not playing around with breaks or empty headers or anything like that. And we can control the spacing um, down to the pixel level, which is really important with complex layouts. So here's an example here. We're starting off by moving the top 17 pixels down. So from where we'd be able to post something here, we've got it 17 pixels down there. And uh, then we're putting in the first line of text, which is, of course, first name here. So we're using user meta for that, the short code. And then last name, user meta there. And then here what we're doing is we are using the style for the header to control the font size, the text alignment, and the color. You can see that it's blue in this case. So let's switch back here. And beneath that, we need to allow some more space. You can see that here there's um, some text that's included here. So this is part of the image. We need to make sure that this shows up down below in between these two sections of text. So that's where the 25 pixels comes in. So we can control this again down to the pixel level. And then we put in the font size, whatever that's going to be, the alignment. Um, this is actually an air. Uh, this this should be, of course, not there. I will update that. Um, and then after that, we're using the um, the short code for quiz title so that we can populate that. So that one is, of course, centered. And we've got the custom color there. And then after that, of course, again, um, we need to put in the CEU value. So in this case, we didn't have to add any extra spacing because it shows up where we want it down here. But you can see it's not all the way over on the left and it's not centered. So what we need to do for that one is we need to say that it is first the size of it, then it needs to be left, and then it needs to be indented a certain number of pixels. And then, of course, we're changing the color again. So this is the key here. Instead of using like non-breaking spaces or something else to control spacing on here, we're just indenting it a certain number of pixels so that it shows up properly on the certificate. And in this case, we need to allow for two digits, then a period, and then a single decimal place. So we've allowed room for that. Then, of course, down here, we've got a little bit of extra space that we have to add down here. We could add even more for this one, but right now it's aligned with the certificate that was set up for that. So, or sorry, the signature, I mean, that was set up for that. And once we've got the spacing there, then we would just add the date. So in this case, we are just taking the timestamp information, controlling the format. And once again, we're just indenting it a certain number of pixels. So this approach tends to be a lot easier than having a lot of extra tags in there to try to guess at how far it is. And then unless you're using things like text indent and line height, it's very hard to control exactly where text is going to show up. So this approach simplifies things a fair bit. And then of course, as you are testing things, once you've completed that quiz and have the certificate open in another tab, you can go through and make updates and you can just refresh this page without having to complete the quiz again. And it is going to reload with your updates. So it kind of simplifies the process and hopefully that means it won't take quite as long for you to create certificates. So I hope that helped. And if you have any suggestions or questions about this, feel free to get in touch with us. Thanks.